Artemis Gentileschi was a painter in the 17th century who struggled to get recognition for the art she created. She was well known, but not for her paintings. Artemisia Gentilecci was a pioneer. She was a rare example of a woman making it in the art world in the 17th century. Today, the Italian Baroque painter is considered one of the greatest artists of her generation. But she's been better known as a rape survivor who testified against her attacker under torture. An exhibition in Rome called Artemisia Gentilecci and Her Times is aiming to change that. She's really a woman who was successful and whose biography has made people passionate about her. There have been novels, books and series of conferences. She's a woman who's been studied more from a biographical point of view than an artistic point of view. This exhibit would like instead to highlight the true painter Artemisia. But Gentilecci also drew from her life in her paintings. Her female subjects often resemble herself, while the men she painted looked like her rapist. As she became established in her career, the women in her paintings became stronger. In Judith beheading Holfernes, the transformation is obvious. I believe it's a desire for vengeance for a violated woman. These spurts of blood that almost seem like an insistent fountain, the fabric that gets stained, the violence in which Holofernes holds the woman by her collar and she manages to defeat him with the help of her maid. There's truly the desire to overcome and perhaps to exorcise what she suffered. The exhibit also showcases work by other artists of the same period who influenced her work, such as Caravaggio. The exhibit at the Palagio Baracci will highlight the strength of a survivor and the work of an artistic master until May.